good everyone my name is graphics in this video we want to solve this problem involving mechanics and the problem goes like this it says a horizontal line pqrx is 12 meter long where pq is equals to qr is equals to rx is equals to 4 meter forces of 1000 newton 1500 newton 1000 newton and 500 newton at at p q r and x respectively with downward force direction the lines of action of these forces make angle of 90 degree 60 degree 45 degree and 30 degree respectively with ps find the magnitude and direction now, first of all, let us draw out the free body diagram and see what the question is trying to what? Explain. Now, it says that the horizontal line PQR X is 12 meter long. And the most important part of it is that it's making us understand that PQR X is equal to 4 meter. So, it means that the distance between each of these points is 4 meter. So the distance between PQ is equal to the distance between QR is equal to the distance between RX and they are what? 4 meter apart. So these forces are 4 meter apart from each other. Right? Now, you may understand that each of these forces have 1000 Newton, 1500 Newton, 1000 Newton and 500 Newton. Act on those points p q r x is that taken and the most important aspect here is that what they are acting downward so all the forces are acting the arrow is facing down is that taken now it's facing what down and the angle at which they are acting where facing downward are the 1000 newton is acting at an angle of what 90 degrees so it is perpendicular to what to the horizontal line which is p q r x right and um, the next one the 1500 newton is 45 degree to the what? To the horizontal. Right? And the 1500 newton is 60 degree to the horizontal. The 1000 newton is 45 degree to the horizontal. And the 500 newton is 30 degree to the horizontal. Right? So this is what the question is telling us, making us understand. These are the four forces. Now, we are told to look for the result, the magnitude of, the magnitude and direction of the force right so what you do here we're told to look for the magnitude of the of the of the what of this system here so we know that the resultant force is given as what the square root of what summation of f of x all square plus the summation of what f of y all square right now before we can start looking for summation of f of x or summation of f of y we need to resolve the inclined forces there we have three inclined force the 1,5 acting at 60 degree, the 1,000 acting at 45 degree, and the 500 acting at what? 30 degree. So we have to resolve these forces by applying the principle of what? Resolution of force. And if you don't know how to apply this principle, you can just click on this link at the top right corner of the screen. It will give you more insight on how to what? How to resolve forces. But for the benefit of those that are watching this video, I will explain further. Now, if you look at this force now, it is inclined at 30, at 30 degree, right downward. So what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to draw horizontal and vertical line, right? Now, if you look at this, the one five is acting downward. So since it's acting downward and it's inclined to the horizontal, we'll say 1,500 sine 60, right? That's for the vertical force. And for the horizontal force, it's given as what? 1500 cos 60 for the other one and look at the arrow the way the arrow is facing they are pointing each other because when it's acting downward they are meeting just look at the sense now the next one is the 1000 acting at 45 degrees so the vertical will be 1000 sine 45 the horizontal will be 1000 cos 45 now for the other last force at point x the vertical force there will be 500 sine 30 and the result will be what? 500 cos 30. Now look at the arrow, where the arrow is facing. Now this is what we have. So we start. Now if you don't understand what I just did now, 
you can just kindly click at the link at the top right corner of the screen and it will explain to you how to what how to resolve forces now we we'll move further now we say that the resultant force the summation from the resultant force we have what is called summation of what f of x that means we need to bring all the resultant components together and this is one of the conditions for what for equilibrium so let's start now what are the forces that are inclined that are horizontal to the x axis we have the 1500 cos 60 but it will be negative because the arrow is facing backward right and um, we have the minus 1000 cos 45 we also have the minus 500 cos 30. now when you now punch your calculator you discover that minus 1500 cos 60 will give us minus 750 minus 1000 cos 45 will give you minus 707.11 and minus 500 cos that will give you minus 433.12 now if you do the summation you do the proper um, arithmetic here you'll be having um minus 1890.23 newton so that is the forces acting along the horizontal axis right the negative means the force is pointing at the negative direction now we also have calculating for what the summation of f of y now, so f of y, we have minus 1000. If you look at the 1000 newton that is acting downward, right? Then we have uh, minus 1500 sine 60 acting downward, minus 1000 sine 45 acting downward, right? We have um, 500 sine, minus 500 sine 30 also acting downward. That's why they're having negative. Now, when you put your calculator, you discover that the minus 1000 at point P minus the minus 1500 sine 60 at point q which will give us minus 1299.04 and we also have the minus um 1000 sine 45 which will give us uh, that is at um point r which will give us minus 707.11 then minus what minus 250 which is what the equivalent of what minus 500 sine 30 now, when you do the proper arithmetic here, discover that your total sum of these values will give us minus 3256.15 Newton. Now, if you input the value of summation of f of x and the value of summation of f of y into the formula above, discover that the resultant force will now be equal to the square root of minus 1890.23 all square plus minus. 3256.15 or square now when you find the square of the first which is minus 1890.23 square you'll be having 357296.745 right plus the square of minus 2 minus 3256.15 or square will give us 10,000 six zero two five one two point eight two so this is what you have when you square those two values now when you add both of them together you are going to be having the square root of fourteen one seven five four eight two point two seven now if you look for the square root of fourteen one seven five four eight two point two seven you're going to be having the resultant force to be equal to what 3765.03 newton so that is the magnitude of the forces that we have there now if we want to look for the direction the direction here is that with the formula using tan theta is e equals to summation of f of y all over what summation of f of x right so if you put your value here my tan theta will now be giving me 3256.03 one five divided by that is the value for summation of f of y divided by summation of f of s is given as one eight nine zero point two three now if you divide both of them you'll be having tan theta will be equal to what one point seven two three right so if you take the tan to the other side my theta will not be equal to what tan inverse one point seven two three and the theta here will not be given as what fifty nine point eight seven degree so that is what we have as our answer so if you have actually found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and also share. Thanks for watching.